everyone, welcome back to my little corner of the internet. I hope you're all doing well. Today, as you can see by the title, I wanted to take a little bit of inspiration from those videos that are doing the rounds that are like baby names I love but won't be using and kind of flip it to something more relevant to my channel and talk about the house trends I love but won't be using. For those of you that are maybe new here, my husband and I bought our house almost two years ago now and we have been slowly but surely renovating uh, the process. I've had a bunch of DIY videos that I'll leave on a card up above. Um, but because we have the intention of selling this house, we are keeping things relatively neutral in terms of the colour palette and everything that we do because we want whoever buys this house to be able to envisage their stuff in the house when they come to view it. And then we also want to make sure that we didn't overcapitalize on it because we do have that intention to sell it once we're finished. The first design trend that I'm really loving at the moment is the use of colour in terms of like off-centre feature wall, in terms of colour blocking, uh, tonal looks in one room or even rooms that are all one colour including like the door frame and the skirting boards as well. I just think that looks really really cool. At the moment we have added a grey feature wall in our bedroom and we do plan on doing also a grey feature wall in our like entranceway and also in our lounge but even then grey is a pretty safe colour and regardless of what colour like someone's furniture is or what colour their house style is Grey can pretty much go with anything, which is why we chose to do it. The kind of on-trend colours that I'm seeing at the moment are really dark and moody colours like greens and navy blues and things. And I just think it makes a room look really, really cosy. We have obviously gone for quite a different approach and have kept everything relatively white and neutral. But yeah, if I could, I would absolutely love to have a room that was like all one colour. Kind of on the same train in terms of adding a little bit more personality uh, in your paint choice, I'm also really loving all of the featured tiles and the featured tile like layouts that I'm seeing at the moment. There's a lot of really cool tiles I'm seeing at the moment that are like hexagon shaped or they're circular and I just think they look really cool. Even like changing up the pattern can really make a room feel quite fresh and quite different. We have gone for pretty basic white tiles in our bathroom and our laundry and eventually in our kitchen when we do that up um, and we've just gone for like the subway style pattern because it is pretty cool. I feel like it's like less on trend now that there's like all these other different styles coming out but I feel like it's a pretty safe option in terms of hopefully something that will always be in fashion. But yeah I just think there's so many more options now in terms of the tile design and tile layout and it's just really cool. One design trend that I have loved for a really long time and the only reason that we haven't incorporated it into our house is just because I think the style of our house or the era of our house versus this design trend just don't really mesh well together but it is adding wall cladding. Wall cladding to me just seems like a really easy way to add texture and to add a feature into a room but it could still be the same colour as the rest of the house so it's not overpowering, it's not too much of a feature wall but you're still adding that little bit something to give the house a little bit more personality. Because wall cladding wasn't really going to fit in this house we have compromised by adding doors that still have like the lined texture in our wardrobe and also in our hall cupboard. So we still have that little bit of like cladding-ish texture in the house, it's just not covering the whole wall. Another example of something that I would have absolutely loved to have and it's still my dream to have one day but it just wouldn't fit in the current style of our house is to have a big farm style sink. I just think they look really cool in the kitchen, they give a kitchen a little bit more personality and yeah, they just look really pretty. I've just always wanted one. Also having a butler's pantry in a kitchen is something that lately I think would just add so much more like storage and would be actually a really useful and functional space. We did actually intend on maybe making a butler's pantry in our house and kind of changing the current configuration of like where our laundry door was and moving that into the hallway so that we could like utilize a bit of space that right now is just like for coat storage and things. But it was just gonna be a little bit too much money and the way that we were gonna do it Again, we didn't know if it was going to fit with the style of our house and we didn't want to overcapitalize. But yeah, I do think that would also be really cool and it's a good way to kind of like minimalize the stuff that's on the bench top because you can put it all in the butler's pantry. Those are the design trends that hopefully when we buy our next house, which will be more of like a longer term house, uh, we might be able to incorporate some of those trends into because I think that would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there are a few other ones that I really love but I'm not too sure if I'm going to be using yet. So maybe once we finish the house renovation, uh, I can do like another one of these videos talking about those. Um, I want to know what you guys really love in terms of house trends right now as well. Or if there's any home renovation home style uh, YouTubers or Instagrammers that you follow, please also leave them for me in the comment section down below. Right now I'm following uh, at number 30 which is the Mitchell X home renovation. I'm following Fro Homes on Instagram as well which is in the Fro Victoria's home renovation. And then there's an Australian YouTube channel called Three Birds Renovation who go and do like massive renovations for every room in the house and a lot of the pictures that I used as inspiration also came from their YouTube channel. So I'll leave their links down below if you want to go and check them out. But if you've got any others, please leave them for me in the comments section. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you are having a really great day. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all later on. Bye.